want to talk about one of the most underrated baseball pitchers in all of Major League Baseball, and it goes tonight on Monday. We're going to give you a free play as well in this Braves-Twins game. Full analysis, free play, and some information for you that you might want to use the rest of the season coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And, you know, as a handicapper, we always want to balance overall seasonal stats with current form. And you always say, you know, which one's more important? I say, well, it depends. But in general, my default answer is it's a balance of the two, like anything in life. And by the way, football season is here, but we're balanced. We're still doing Major League Baseball. And boys, it paid off 10 and 1, my last 11 best bets, 13 and 2, my last 15, and 28 and 12 over the last 30 days. Ranked number one at wagertalk.com, up over 58 units of profit. And you get my top best bet tonight on Monday for just $5 because it's Customer Appreciation Monday. I'll have more details on that along with a bonus free play on the site here in just a moment. But let's look at a free play for this video on this Braves-Twins game tonight. And let's get right to it. The guy I think is one of the most underrated pitchers in baseball right now is Bailey Ober for the Minnesota Twins. And the reason I bring up the full season stats versus current stats is because this is a guy that's got a... 3.5 3.5 ERA for the season, very respectable, but it should be a lot better because he was horrendous back on March 31st in his first outing of the season. If you recall, he gave up eight runs and nine hits in just over an inning at Kansas City. One of the worst opening to start debuts you will see in the history of baseball, and he only threw 53 pitches, but it took him barely over an inning to throw 53. Well, fast forward, he got better every start after that. He started with an ERA of 54.0, by the way, after that first game. Over his last 11 outings, he's got an ERA of 2.1. And it really switched for him here back a couple months ago in mid-June because on June 16th, he had a solid six-inning outing against the A's, gave up just one run. And then he faced Oakland again six days later on June 22nd, which one of the best pitching performances of the season by anybody, and probably nobody's talked about it. He had a nine-inning complete game, which first of all is very unusual nowadays. And as a baseball historian, someone's followed baseball since my youth back in the 1980s. Um, I love to see complete games because they don't let these guys go more than six, seven innings. It's all pitch count, by the way. It's not innings. And um, he was extremely efficient. 89 pitches in that nine-inning complete game. The two runs were both on solo home runs. He threw 70 strikes and only 19 balls. That's what you want to see. And that was his second outing over the last 11 games, which he has that 2.1 ERA. So my point is he's been one of the best pitchers in baseball over the past uh, two months And I think there's value with him again tonight as a small home favorite. And the reason this line is so short, only around uh, currently about the minus 120 range, minus 125 in some spots, is because they're facing the Atlanta Braves and Max Fried. And Fried is considered one of the best pitchers in baseball, and he's very good as well. But if you look at his current form, he's faltering. 3.6 ERA for the season. Actually, let's put this in perspective. 3.57 for the season, over 3.54. They're almost dead equal. The last seven games, Ober, 2.4, Freed, 4.9. You go back even further, Ober's ERA is even better, as I mentioned. So two pitchers heading in opposite directions, and that's with Max Freed having a seven-inning, two-run outing against Philly uh, just five days ago. He's pitching here on just four days of rest, which isn't ideal. He's coming off a strong bounce back after some subpar outings. In fact, he'd given up uh, 13 runs in his previous three starts over 13 innings. So it was a bounce back spot against Philly, but he's still not in good current form. I think this is a nice setup for the better pitcher, perhaps the better team, and home field lane, just $1.20. Take a look at the Minnesota Twins tonight on Monday in that interleague game at 740 Eastern. Hey, I've also got a free play tonight in the huge game between the Astros and Phillies on my site right now at wagertalk.com, a free play in that Houston Phillies game. Also, don't forget my top best bet tonight. I have one official best bet for my clients. It's normally $25, but you get it for just $5 tonight because it's Customer Appreciation Monday. That's an instant 80% discount off the normal rate. And boy, you should pay attention. 10-1 and my last 11 baseball plays. We had a 5-0 sweep the last three days. Swept this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. 10-1 and the last 13. And 13-2 and the last 15. And I'm upset about it. You know you're going well when it's up, you're upset about a 13-2 and run because one of those two losses a week and a half ago was a blown 2-0 lead in the top of the ninth. Otherwise, we'd be 14-1. and That's how well I'm seeing baseball. You know, everyone's getting ready for football, including myself. And by the way, we did pass in week zero. I didn't like anything on the board. There was only four to five uh, games. Uh, the underdogs did extremely well. It was very random. I only had one NFL preseason play this entire month of August. I thought that was going to be random, and boy, did that turn out to be the case. The Sharps, the professionals, got hammered in the NFL preseason. Just go back on the Wager Talk Live odd screen, which is free, and just look for the opening lines versus the closing lines in those three weeks of the NFL. You can see where all the sharp money was. It did not fare well. So I sat back. I only play where I see edges, 
And so far this football season, there haven't been any, but that changes this week. Full slate of action here. This is week one. Starts Thursday night all the way through the weekend. Don't miss out. Football is here, but don't sleep on baseball, man. 13-2 my last 15, 28-12 over the past month. I'm getting ready for football, but I'm still cashing in baseball as well. Not a bad time to pick up a direct subscription on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All Sports All Access gets you every NFL and college football play along with baseball every day. NBA just a couple months away, college basketball as well. And by the way, I did include a promo code on my page today for an instant $800 discount on a one-year annual pass. Works out to just $3 a day, about a dollar per play. That promo code is on the page right now in the promo for my best bet, so don't miss it. Once again, that huge one-year all-access special is available once again with an instant $800 discount. I know the $5 best bet tonight is a great deal but highly consider a longer-term investment approach. Had you done so, you'd be on board right now in this current 28-12, 58-unit profit the last 30 days in Major League Baseball. $5 best bets tonight, bonus free play, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget to comment below. I read all the comments, I reply back. Who do you like tonight in this game? Other baseball best bets you're looking at? Drop them in the comments below. I read them, I reply back. Let's win together here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like goes a long way to keeping it free. And don't forget, click subscribe. I know many of you have, but if you haven't clicked that bell as well, consider it because you get an instant alert when my free play videos go up throughout the week here for baseball each day. My college football top 25 video will start this week, Thursday into Friday. And then next week, my NFL fade to public week one edition will be ready. Just a great reason to click the bell for instant alerts, doing free play baseball videos like this, but also doing a ton of free play college and pro football videos starting this week and next as well. So subscribe, click the bell, comment below, thumbs up, and stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great content coming up next. And if you're on X on Twitter, follow me as well at Steve Merrill. You know the drill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X. And boy, it's been just one L. 10 and 1 my last 11, 13 and 2 the last 15. That's the only time you'll see two L's in Merrill. Still a nice run. But once again, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L on X. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great content coming up next.